be painting a cloud scene using oil paints. One note that I want to make about my technique is that I tend to work in thin layers. This means that I often let one layer dry completely before adding another layer. For today's painting, I am working on a small 2x2 inch stretched canvas. I'll be using a limited color palette consisting of titanium white and cobalt teal. It's not necessary to buy cobalt teal, the same color can be achieved by mixing cobalt or phthalo blue, a little bit of white, and just a hint of yellow. My personal favorite is lemon yellow, it's a very happy color. There are a few brushes that I will have on hand. This includes two sizes of small flathead brushes and two small round brushes. We'll see what we need once we start painting but this is a great place to start. If you do plan to mix your own teal color, this is best done with a palette knife. Lastly, I'll be using the Mineral Spirit Gamsol to thin my paints. To start, I will color block the sky. Using my flat head brush, I apply thin out cobalt teal to the canvas using linear strokes across the entire canvas. By keeping this layer of paint thin, I allow the texture of the canvas to add depth to the painting. There is a phenomenon in landscape paintings called atmospheric perspective. This occurs because the atmosphere affects how objects appear to the viewer depending on how near or far away they are. In a blue sky, colors become washed out as they near the perceived ground, and appear more saturated as the altitude gets higher. To push this visually, I add phthalo blue to the top corners of the painting and blend. There is no need to paint a perfect gradient. These brush strokes and streaks bring character to your sky. I'm going to let my painting dry overnight before I add my clouds. This will prevent unwanted blending of colors. To start, I will use my smallest flathead brush. Turning the brush on its side, I apply titanium white using the stippling technique. Stippling is when you pat the paper with your brush, creating an uneven texture on your surface. This technique creates the airy texture of clouds. I continue using this technique, filling out the form into the shape of the cloud that I desire. Clouds are one of my favorite subject matters to paint. I think it's because there's so much room to experiment. Unlike the human form, clouds don't have one proportion or color they must adhere to. No one can say, you painted that cloud incorrectly. Who are they to tell you that your cloud formation couldn't exist in the real world? So remember to have fun with it. I have decided that my light source is coming from the top right of my canvas. Continuing with the stippling technique, I highlight areas of the cloud that sunlight would naturally fall upon. There are some fun details that can be added to skyscapes to give them personality. I'll often add birds or small planes. Today I'm going to add a small jet stream, as if the plane had flown directly through the cloud. the final painting. I hope you enjoyed following along.